was continuing on um, back at the Android developer page for Bluetooth we're going to work on the connected thread well we're going to work on copying and pasting here because that's the skills of programming you copy and paste other people's codes and because Android's so nice to be open source um, yeah so just copy paste that boom boom that's nice uh, you can put this in another class altogether but I don't think I'm alright we'll check that up make a constant up here message underscore red really annoys me how red and read are the same and we'll chuck that into a handler so um, I know I'm not explaining things very well on this but it's at least good to see it in practice and we probably we want to toast that message so once we connected uh, what we probably want to do is we want to start that connected thread so connected thread connected thread equals new connected thread socket is not there I guess we could hand the socket over Um, so if you come into here obtain message you can hand an object over so I might just hand that socket over in the handler so mm socket it's probably not the best way to do it but oh well so socket will be message message dot object and we'll case that to Bluetooth socket. I say case. Um, I'm not really sure, man. But forgive me, please. I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this managed socket, and just do it all in the handler. <laughs> so you notice this is the the thread that we were just doing up here. Uh, you have a write function so that's where you write output and uh, say I'd receive it in here and you also have a run function so this is constantly running looping and you know reading one thing you might want to do is you might want this buffer to be um, cleared after every loop round or else it will just append to the end of the buffer if it's longer it may not make sense now but if you don't do it you'll you'll see what I mean so um, we'll just go buffer in fact we'll just chuck that bit down there buffer Because if you say that say that uh, array is like this, it's like <laughs> like that, and then you go and get a longer message. It's actually not overwriting these ones here, so just pay attention to that. It's a wee tip there for you. Made no sense, but tip nonetheless. Uh, so we got the connected thread, which is one we're just looking at. We're gonna make a wee toast. And then I might even send a wee message there. So connected dot write and new gonna make a wee string and then convert it. So string s equals successfully connected. see how we do here All 
Alright. And in this case we just want to toast the message. So the message will be... Buffer. Um, I think I'll go byte array read buff equals byte array message dot object again and we'll go string s equals to string I think it might be string from by the way. New string. Ah, yes, indeed. There it is. Right, so this should be working. Um, I'll go test it. If it's not working, I'll probably cut anyway and you won't notice. You probably will, but I'll trick you like that. Right, I got an error when I tried to run that, and um, I'm pretty sure it's because of this wee bit here. The on receive function um, because of the set and all this discovery I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it and then you should follow along I'm gonna go ahead and make another array list but this time of a Bluetooth device and I'm just gonna call it devices then when we go down here uh, in our broadcast receiver somewhere I'm just going to go I'll better set up first actually devices equals new array list And then we want to go devices dot add device. That way, in the on click list now we can refer directly to the device. Select the devices equals devices dot get arg two. Hit to cut again because it was not working and I just realized it's a mistake I always make. I didn't send to target. <laughs> Whenever you're using a handler you've got to actually send the, the, the target. Um, for some reason I always make that mistake. So as you can see it worked so as soon as I clicked connect it connected and it's sent successfully to the Bluetooth module which I've got connected to my computer and boom so that's the fundamentals of Bluetooth connections um, I guess we go more into receiving and stuff but there's not not really any point uh, that's just the fundamentals once you got that all up and running have a look at the website here and there's more things you can do like working with audio and all that crap yeah that's good stuff there alright cheers guys bye